Hello, this reading is for Virgo. So let's look at shuffling the cards first. We have your moon here. What I did was I took time to look up everyone's rune readings and make sure that I had enough time with it. Algae is the rune, which represents protection. It represents you being in control of any emotional issues. It's a time of transformation, a shift in your life. It's about self-change, okay? But what I did was I meditated on which one I felt was best for Virgo. And it's controlling your emotions, protecting your own energy, and really getting the help that you need for whatever you're facing. And not to allow your emotions to control you. Not to allow your emotions to control you and understand your life. Understand where you are in your life right now and what is needed okay so very important <clears throat> so let's shuffle and see what the 12 cards are for Virgo May 2018 sorry this video took a while to come out I had a lot going on but I wanted to make this reading special for you guys so yeah Let's get them all laid out here for Virgo. We have the moon card. Okay. And then we have the 11th card. Okay. So the Ace of Staves is about going after what it is that you desire. Ace of Staves. Okay. <clears throat> And it's like out of nowhere, you're going to have to find your own personal strength to work through what it is that you are going through. All right. The Ace of Staves is a fire energy. It's all about really finding the source of what it is that you are going through, finding that source. Okay. And digging really deep. It's like a spiritual strength, right? And you can find your inspiration through just your own thought of what is going on with you okay um <clears throat> then you have the six of staves and the six of staves is a celebration you know it doesn't have to be a huge celebration but it's, it's a celebration of you actually doing the work that it takes for yourself okay and just being happy that you're not in that situation anymore. A major arcana of the moon. It's about being brave to move forward for your own healing, which is eight of cups. Then you have the, the hangman, which is you working through that process, that healing. And now you have a new view on your life and what's going on. The justice card is you feeling like, okay, I really help myself. I really move through this. You have the two of cups, which is love and romance. Okay. Love, marriage, all of that. So this is good. I feel that for the love reading, it's if you have a relationship, it's going to make the relationship better. You working on yourself. If you don't have a relationship, it's you working on yourself and now you're ready for a relationship that's a long lasting one. The two of staves is that the relationship is not breaking you. It's only, it's making you even like you're stronger by yourself. Yes, but it's making you stronger, meaning that things are just working out great for you, which is good with the two of of staves. The two of swords is you really trusting yourself and and still working on yourself even though you know you're in a relationship you have that happiness uh working on yourself two of of swords okay so that's what it's translating to is you working on yourself the three of coins is that work is getting better um things for your job is getting really good and um this is a good thing and there's good balance of that okay so you are balancing that all out and then you have the eight of swords and the eight of swords is you feeling so good that things are going good then your mind is just starting to just mess with you where you're like oh i can't believe that things are so good um 
you know, and just don't feel like you're trapped because you're so happy that things are working out great for you. Just know that any negative thought is just you in, in your mind, okay? So now we're going to look at the animal spirit card and we're just going to see what advice they can give us. Okay, for, Vir for Virgo. So you have hummingbird, okay? And hummingbird is about light, lighting in, lighten up <laughs> joy, okay? Lighten up joy. And that's good because things are going so great. You really worked hard on your situation yourself. And then some, sometimes when things are going good, we start going, oh, I can't believe it's so good, blah, blah, blah. And we're just, you know, jacking up our own positive energy. So the hummingbird is joy. It's lighten up. That's the message from the hummingbird. And let's look at money and the law of attraction cards. I really like these. Set in the intention for Virgo. Okay, so it says, my life is as good as I allow it to be. My life is as good as I allow it to be. And you can see that third, that looks like the third eye chakra, right? And it's just beautiful. And that energy is just rising up. And it's the 48th card in the deck. So if you want to look at it and see what um, the meaning is for you, what you draw out of it. It has writing on the back. And it's just about aligning yourself with what it is that you want, that energy, that thought, okay? And allowing things to improve. And, and the power of words and what you're saying to yourself, okay? So really focus in on what you're saying. You can pause the video and see what the card says and what you can pull from it, okay? So that is your card, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful May. I'll see you guys next month. And don't forget to watch the full moon and the new moon videos on this channel. Thank you, guys. Peace.